Welcome back to the Living in Southern Utah channel. Now this is going to be a video that you're not gonna to wanna to miss, specifically because we're gonna talk about a bunch of different neighborhoods, not only in the city of St. George, but the entire, you know, St. George region. And we're gonna talk about, you know, what are the different aspects of these neighborhoods. We're gonna talk about things that you're gonna love. And we're gonna talk about, probably most importantly, things that you're gonna hate. Because a lot of times when you're trying to figure out, you know, where do I wanna live? Where do I wanna to move to? What I don't want sometimes is more important. So let's get into it right now. Okay. So here we are, we're right here, like where the outline is showing St. George. Actually, what we could do is kind of zoom out a little bit to show you kind of where we stand, where like with all this stuff is. So we're really close to obviously the Arizona border and then there's this little sliver of the 15 freeway and then you're in Nevada. And this kind of to illustrates obviously how close we are to Las Vegas. This is about a two hour trek from St. George to Las Vegas. Or an hour and 10 minutes, depending on who you ask. <laughs> We were asking somebody. Hit, the more you know. Yeah. We're going, wow, we were that was fast. We were talking to somebody yesterday, and he was like, it's only an hour and 10 minutes away. I'm like, we're how like, fast really? are you driving? <laughs> 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 okay, so there's that. So let's kind of zoom back in to St. George. So, And again, and actually, even to show you even further to illustrate where you are, this is what we always refer to the Goldilocks zone because, okay, so Southern California, like beyond St. George, you're good five hours to Salt Lake City. So it is a bit of a trek. We're not going to lie. Like, this is... A bit of a trek to get you to Salt Lake City. Um, nice driving though, but at the same time, what's also interesting about St. George is that you're only about six hours or so away from Los Angeles. So you're getting to you know huge metropolitan areas rather quickly, and the 15 freeway is a very effective freeway to get you there. So it's like a straight shot to get you into Southern California. So we're just gonna start uh, in the middle of St. George and then sort of go out from there and talk about maybe some of the more uh, well-known neighborhoods, some of the bigger neighborhoods that you may have found while you're Googling, you know, where am I gonna live, that kind of stuff. So if we could start in downtown. So downtown, St. George is known really as a place with a lot of new construction and that is definitely true. But downtown is one of the, the rare places in St. George where you can get that kind of like old town charm like an interesting grid system here in yes. St. George. So And the tabernacle actually is the zero zero if I'm not mistaken. So two hundred, one hundred, zero. This is zero zero. So yes, that is zero zero. And so surrounding that you get a lot of, you know, older properties, but then, you know, there's a lot of like restaurants and bars that are seemingly every week like something new is opening. Yeah, because people often want to know, can you get a drink? In oh, spiritual cocktail. Thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Can you get a drink? Oh, in Wood Ash Rye, that's like a popular place to go. It's it's part of a, a hotel. And then the brewery right here too. Mm -hmm. Station Two. Sounds brewery. And then before we continue, we just have to tell you that if you are interested in purchasing a property here in downtown or anywhere in the uh, Southern Utah region, reach out to Sean and I because we are licensed realtors here in the state of Utah, and our team can f help you find that perfect house for you. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, and then basically, so just so you know how this works, it's very confusing. We were confused when we first got in here. So this is the funny thing, right? So like these little blocks, again, this is like kind of like the grid system. So where we're from, we don't really have much of the grid system like as far as that goes, but here it actually makes a lot of sense once you get it. So for instance, this address would here would be like, you know, 100 west, 200 north. Like, you know, that's, that's, that's what it is. So it's two blocks away from city center here, like center center, and then one block west of it. So that's, and then that kind of extends all the way out. So as you go all the way out here, see all these grids, like as you get closer, you'll see like 18, you know, 810 or whatever. Like this is all kind of showing you its proximity to city center. So just kind of get nice, an idea. And like, for instance, yeah, like, so like how you'd even pronounce, like say this stuff, because I don't even know how to read it. Like when we first got in here. So it would be like, for instance, uh, let's see you're like 1040 east uh you know like let's say 900 south something like that so that's mm -hmm. just so you know that's kind of like the vernacular here mm -hmm. and again just to reiterate so in the downtown area there's definitely a lot of older homes even some historic homes if you want to you know buy that house and refurbish it and make it sort of be a modern classic that is definitely one of the areas that you can do it. There's other areas in, in the St. George region that also offer older homes. It's very cute. I, I really love the tree-lined streets. It uh, gets nice and green in the summer. It's just a very beautiful part of, of St. George. Very popular. Okay, okay, so from city center right here, so it's literally like your traditional main street, right, kind of thing. 
you're about a couple minutes away from Utah Tech University, as well as you're getting a couple minutes away from like the like the 15 freeway. And mm-hmm. okay, having said that, this is awesome. Like Sakura Japanese Sushi, mm-hmm. uh, it's Japanese Steakhouse. House. This is kind of like a hibachi setup. So I think of Benihana's. It's probably the, the yeah. easiest like you know kind of corollary here. So like solid food. They have sushi. Really cool. You know, just getting really cool entertainment from that perspective. So we'll just kind of some of the neighborhoods that are popping up. So here's uh, okay. So you want to go to Bloomington? Yes. So Bloomington is another neighborhood. We, I know we were talking about some of the older homes. So Bloomington definitely has some more established homes. Very beautiful part of St. George as well. More spacious, like a bit more yes. land. Like some mm-hmm. of these homes are pretty big actually. Yeah. So you you know if you're interested in just a larger home, bit more land. You know they're not necessarily brand new. This is a great option, and it's one of the only neighborhoods with a golf course. Yes. <laughs> Sean's being facetious. There is literally so many neighborhoods. And if you stay to the end of this video, so our business partner and I, Sue, we did a tour of just one particular golf course neighborhood, just as an example to show you what is golf course living like in St. George. You don't necessarily have to live in the golf course neighborhood that we were highlighting. We just kind of use it as like an example. Yes. But yeah, so stay to the end and we'll give you a link to that video. Yeah, and also what's cool about, again, and this is indicative of a lot of St. George, is that like Montezuma, trailhead all these trailheads there's so many trails to hike bike and run it's crazy and mm-hmm. if you're interested in ra- razor scooters that are <laughs> where you can kind of like those scooters where you're actually gonna like motor around in mm-hmm. really popular around these parts and the virgin river is the grandest of all rivers oh, sean again is being facetious I'm although kidding. when you when you go to zion it does get bigger it's very it's very beautiful in zion but no it's here not here you wouldn't really notice it too no, much no you wouldn't notice it too much it's kind of amazing though it keeps going like it goes on yeah. forever it just isn't like it's not like the mississippi or anything like that where it's like super wide or like mm-hmm. a lot of water flowing through it but it just keeps going going like into mesquite and all that stuff yeah. it's it goes miles and miles but yeah so like so what this shows this is not okay let, let, we'll be real this is not like what you think of a big river or anything like that yeah for sure so here we are in bloomington so again just to give you a sense of proximity here from like like city center here okay we have to t- put this out there everything seems to be about 15 minutes away from that zero zero proximity like it's a kind of an ongoing joke everything in saint george <laughs> is about 15 minutes away yeah. so just kind of use that as a general rule of thumb in bloomington you just take the you know you just go down the 15 freeway a few like a couple exits and there you are mm-hmm. and then having going just south of that now this is right on the edge this is like the last exit before going into Arizona. And mm-hmm. this is Sun River. So this area is really cool. Again, another, like we have, you know, Sun River Golf Club. Um, so obviously you can partake in golfing. This is a retirement community. And so this is just something to kind of be aware of. If that makes sense for you, then, you know, you want to reach out to us so we can kind of see what me- communities make the most sense. So if you are looking for retirement, let us know. And then otherwise, like obviously there's a ton of other communities too. So now across the way, like across the 15 freeway is this huge swath here. You're going, there's nothing going on here. There is so much going on here, it's ridiculous. So one, you have Big Shots Golf Club, which this is fun. So this is like a driving range, really fun, interactive type stuff. So this is really fun stuff. I can hear a little, so t- totally cool. But then on top of that, Desert Color. So Desert Color is this multi-decade long, you know, just development going on. And it could, you know, at the end of it, it could be about 40,000 people that would re- reside in this area. So this is huge this is about half of the size of what st george is right now like once this is all developed and this will still be from what we hear will still be within the st george city limits basically and this is this area is you know pretty much brand new and being built out as we speak and also what's interesting is that this area is both nightly rental and you know normal rental type of situation so this is zoned for both and that is again only certain properties are zoned for the nightly rental and this is a neat thing we have to bring up in the whole washington county area is a lot of people think, okay, I'm going to Utah, you know, like property rights and like number one, everything like that. That is true. But remember, like you are, if you're having nightly rentals, you could infringe on someone else's property rights in that way. So there's been this big push to make it so that certain areas are zoned for nightly rentals and other ones are not. And so, you know, if that's something you're looking to do too, obviously reach out to us so we can kind of point you to those particular developments because they're sprinkled all throughout. It's not like this one zone of St. George is nightly rental. It's all over the place. It's just sprinkled all over, but at the same time, you just gotta be aware of what you're buying into. 
And then just as an aside, if you're wondering about all these big developments and stuff and like how, you know, water is a big issue here, what's interesting is if you go to Desert Color, they have a big presentation about how they have planned for all the water. They're their own water provider. So water is something that's on the mind and it's something that's being planned for. I think people think, you know, they're just building all of this stuff and, and then having no plan for water. Like, that's not the case at all. You can go ask them, uh, how are they going to be sourcing their water? Yeah, and then along the Southern Parkway, so this is, again, the, f the first real exit after the Arizona border here. So this is the, like literally the first exit once you hit St. George. Uh, so this whole Southern Parkway here, so much development is happening. Yeah. It's kind of incredible. So this, along this entire path, you're getting just development after development after development. and. It's, and it kind of continues on and then like, like past even the St. George Regional Airport, which actually is a pretty cool looking airport. It's actually very limited on commercial flights. There's not that many that fly out of there and it's not the best price, we'll be honest with you. Um, if you're needing an airport pretty consistently and you're kind of traveling, you know, if it's not your own plane and you're traveling kind of out and about like throughout the country or whatever, I mean, again, what I would recommend is taking the 15 freeway down two hours, get to Vegas, take McCarran Airport or Harry Reid Airport, depending on how they're calling it these days, and I would fly it out of there. That's what we do when mm -hmm. we're kind of flying either domestically or internationally. We kind of fly, because there's obviously a ton more options in McCarran Airport than there is at the St. George Regional Airport. So just as a little, you know, insider take there as far as that goes. And then another uh, neighborhood that you may have heard of, uh, I don't know, we're gonna click on Hidden Valley. So there's lots of little neighborhoods like Hidden Valley, Little Valley. You know, they all offer, you know, very similar, nice newer homes. Some of them, or many of them, I should say, are, you know, being constructed as we speak. Lots of nice parks, trails. Uh, St. George has a great trail system and seemingly every neighborhood is somehow connected to it. Little Valley, that's another really nice neighborhood and there's some really nice homes. And they have a pickleball complex right here. So yeah. a lot of what people find like interesting to do is that they love their pickleball. And and even in the summer when it does get hot, we're not, we're not gonna lie, it gets hot here in the summer. I mean, obviously the payoff is that your winters are mild. So that, you know, that's kind of what, for a lot of people that are relocating here, that trade-off is worth it for the hot summers. So basically what a lot of people do though, even in the hot summers, um, we will say that the it's hot throughout the day. So basically into the afternoon, it's still pretty hot. So people do their like pickleball, you know, whatever their outdoor stuff in the morning. So it kind of tends to start really heating up, I'll say probably 10 or 11, mm -hmm. and then it's just hot throughout the entire day into the afternoon. So yeah. get your stuff done in the morning. It's actually rather pleasant in the morning, but yeah, just get your stuff out, <laughs> get your stuff out of the way in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're gonna show you, just as an aside, one of our favorite neighborhoods, it's called Stone Cliff. Very nice and ritzy and definitely on the more expensive side. So I don't know if you wanna just kinda circle where it is exactly. Sure, and also actually we'll show where it is in proximity to city center. Just so, again, within 15 minutes you're at city center, just so you know, it's just a bit southeast of city center. So city center is right here and Stone Cliff is right about there. So yeah. again, it's not, I wouldn't even say it's 15 minutes away, but we always just kind of use that as our ballpark figure. But um, what Stone Cliff offers are fantastic views mm -hmm. and it's a gated community. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, again, it's a nice ritzy community like you were talking about. There's a few ritzy communities sprinkled throughout St. George and you know, Stone Cliff is definitely one of them. What I like about it is that they're very much in the thick of where everything else is. Even though yeah. when you're in there, you feel like you're a world away mm -hmm. because again because of how the topography is it's kind of elevated and just it's just really nice yeah because we will talk about later some other you know more expensive communities that you may have heard of like Entrada and Cayenta those are definitely farther away from kind of like the thick of everything so Stonecliff definitely is an option if you know you're wanting something that's more in the, the thick of everything and also it is closer that much closer to vegas i know definitely people do commute from stonecliff to vegas if they have to work in vegas so that's just another reason why it is popular because it's a little bit more south yeah and then also stonecliff is actually right right next to river road so like you know you're pretty close proximity to river road and this is the main shopping corridor in all of st george basically and all of washington county for that matter yeah so basically like river road here it just kind of runs along and it keeps going. And obviously you have Costco, Walmart. What the heck <laughs> was that? Okay, that was weird. Okay, let's try that again. So Costco. Okay, so so basically, um, so you have Costco, which is really important to me. Yes. Obviously, as Courtney knows, like that's just 
huge deal. I, I, we wouldn't have come here if it didn't have a Costco. Yeah, like, let's sure. put it that way. So we have Costco. We have, you know, we have Home Home Depot, Walmart. We have Target. Like all the main shops, like like Best Buy. This is all like right along here. Actually, In-N-Out Burgers right here too, mm -hmm. which is, I don't know if you know about In-N-Out. Pretty amazing. Yes, Like it is. great great burgers and so that's probably where we're going to be shopping harman's which is right here we love this grocery store it's kind of more on the natural slash organic side and there's a few of these like so we have harman's lynn's and natural grocers so i would say those are the three major grocery stores like that actually cater to that organic slash natural type of like food and then what you're talking about too is that um going back to downtown is that that's where they have a farmer's market yeah yeah they have a farmer's market uh, mostly year round they they stop it a little bit in the winter like december and then obviously there's like a big event going on uh, like the iron man's here or something like that but there is a downtown farmer's market uh, most weekends uh, every day of the year and we're not going to talk about like every single neighborhood here in St. George. Uh, if you stay to the end, we will give you a link to a video that's a full vlog tour. So we actually do go through like pretty much every neighborhood in like the entire St. George region. Um, it's very long, it's like an hour long, but if you're interested in that, that could also be a good video for you to watch. So comment down below, where are you thinking about moving from? Uh, I know, you know, a lot of people, they end up moving from up north, like Wyoming, Montana, obviously Salt Lake City, because people are trying to escape, you know, the terrible winters, right? But uh, let us know in the comments below, where are you moving from? Yeah, and another thing too is that we were kind of talking about like River Road being one of the main corridors. Another bigger, like a good sized corridor too for shopping and stuff is Bluff Street that also leads to Sunset Boulevard. So that's where you would also get some other uh, type of, you know, again, some additional shopping for day to day type stuff. So grocery stores, you know, there's another Home Depot there along that. So that just kind of give you an idea. And then another neighborhood that you may have heard about is called The Ledges. Um, so that's really high up. Well, not really high up. It's literally like 15 minutes from downtown St. George. <laughs> but it seems like it's very high up because you have to go through kind of like an empty space of just red hills, basically. So that is another popular uh, golf community that some people uh, like to go to. It's a little bit higher in elevation. So it is a little bit colder in the winter and a tad cooler in the summer. Yeah, it's about like 1,100 feet, a little bit higher. So it's yeah. again, maybe five degrees-ish difference in the summer months. Yeah, and it's on your way to Pine Valley, which is a very small, uh, very beautiful little community that people like to go to. It's about 7,000 feet up on the top of Pine Mountain. People like to go there in the winter to go sledding, or they like to go there in the summer to get out of the heat. So yeah, so it's uh, on your way to Pine Valley, and also about five minutes from Snow Canyon State Park, which is kind of like a forgotten park, I would say, uh, because people always talk about Zion. You know, Zion is the big thing, and obviously Zion is awesome. But Snow Canyon is also awesome. It's very popular for, like, camping, mountain biking, um, you know, running, all of that kind of good stuff. So, yeah, that's just another reason that people might want to be up in the ledges because you're very close to like all of that outdoor activity, literally like five minutes away. Yeah, Snow Canyon is really underrated. And what I love about it too is that one, putting, saying it's picturesque is like putting it, <laughs> it's the understatement of the year. It is, it, you, you you have to almost, like as from a distance, you're like, it looks like someone like painted it. Yeah. Then you get closer and you're like, someone looks like they still painted it. And then yeah. you get like but right up against it and it still looks like someone still painted it. It just yeah. is breathtaking, great trails through there. It just is, amazing and also what i love about it it is so close to city center i mean again you're about what 20 25 minutes from city center there and so it's mm -hmm. crazy that you're this close to just absolute just beautiful scenery and it's just like right you know right by where you know civilization is yeah and washington is the second most populated city in uh southern utah and it's about a third of st george's population so st george has eighty thousand plus uh, washington's about twenty five thousand ish mm -hmm. as far as population is concerned yeah and i would say washington you know some of the other cities around here like santa clara ivan's hurricane they definitely have their own flavor yeah whereas like washington uh i mean it's a great city i love washington but it definitely like kind of bleeds into st george like you don't really know where you are if you're are you like are you in washington are you in st george like i don't know yeah maybe the people that are local locals will like hate us for saying that but <laughs> from, from an outsider's perspective mm -hmm. uh, half the time I didn't know I wasn't even in Washington. Like I felt like, okay, yeah. they just bleed in together so nicely mm -hmm. that it just seems like an extension of one another. So they, again, they're yeah. kind of just, yeah, they're, that's just kind of how we look at it. But yeah, within Washington itself, they have, I mean, one of my favorite neighborhoods in all of Southern Utah is, you know, Washington Fields. Yes, Washington Fields, if you want to just like circle where it is. 
So obviously, as you might imagine, lots of pretty green fields. And then, you know, a lot of the properties as well, they have beautiful um, views of Pine Mountain. Um, love like the style of construction that a lot of these homes are, kind of like the farmhouse style. And good size homes too. Yes, good size homes. Uh, you know, very beautiful part of uh, St. George. Washington is just filled with so many great neighborhoods, lots of, you know, new construction, lots of views, like the Coral, if you click on where Coral Canyon is, I'm just looking at it right now. So the views at Coral beautiful Canyon. Views, yeah. Yeah, a beautiful golf course, and then there's home, like view homes. You can see parts of Zion. It's just like such a nice, beautiful, I mean, just- Pine Mountain. Yeah, right just, it's just so, beautiful. So much uh, of this entire region is so beautiful, right? And it's just hard to say like, you know, this is the best neighborhood because so many of them offer such beautiful views and beautiful homes and great new construction. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then just another thing, you know, you may be thinking, oh, you know, I'm getting out kind of far, far away. Again, about Coral Canyon is about 15 minutes <laughs> yeah. to the center of St. George. <laughs> yeah, because what's interesting about Coral Canyon, because it obviously it's right on the 15 freeway, so to get to the city center is pretty easy. Like, it's, it's shockingly quick to get to city center from here. So, mm -hmm. again, about 15 minutes. So, yeah, you feel like you're far away. Like, we always get, like, people confused about the ledges. Yeah. As well as Coral Canyon going, okay, there's no way I'm 15 minutes. And you need to just type, type in your navigation, you're going... Mm -hmm. About 15 minutes? Yeah, it's only about 15 minutes. And since we are in Washington, we're you know, Green Springs is right there. Green Springs is another really cool golf course community. Again, you know, if you are interested in golf course living, there is just so many options here in St. George region. Just reach out to us because uh, depending on what, you know, you're looking for, there could be like 10 different communities that could fit your needs. Since we are uh, going out towards Hurricane, we, I guess we could talk about Hurricane next. And you see these two reservoirs here, Sand Hollow and Quail Creek. Yeah, so here we are with Hurricane. Now, Hurricane, so that, that rule that we're giving you about, you know, everything is 15 minutes away in St. George. Does not apply. Doesn't apply to Hurricane. You do have to kind of drive out. About 25 to 45 minutes, I guess, depending. Depending on where you are. Um, Hurricane definitely is its own, like, self-sufficient little city. It definitely has its own shopping corridor. You know, State Street is where most of its shopping is. Definitely has, like, a lot of what you're looking for. Um, they have, like, a big Walmart out there. They have Ace Hardware. Like, yeah, they have a bunch of stuff. And what's, again, what, yeah, I would say my, more like 25 to 35 minutes. I think 45 is a little too far. Yeah. <laughs> too far to put it. But, yeah, so, and what we love about Hurricane is that, okay, one, you're kind of getting closer to Zion. So, Zion's not far away from here at all. Okay, so, yeah, so from Zion, like, you're, from Hurricane, like, Hurricane probably about 20 well, you go, like, Hurricane to Springdale. That'll yeah. show you. So, Springdale is, like, the, the city, if you want to click on Springdale. Springdale, that's kind of like the gateway. The gateway to Zion. Like, the, the actual park starts, like, so about 28 minutes. So yeah. yeah. So so you're not far at all away. So yeah. So you're right on the cusp of Zion itself, which is kind of amazing because this is like one of the most popular national parks in the entire country, and we kind of timed it before. We're about uh, and like within an hour of mm -hmm. city center, and within Hurricane again, you're about like 30 minutes basically. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to click it. And then Hurricane also, uh, one of the very popular things about Hurricane, it has the two reservoirs, uh, Sand Hollow and Quail Creek. Sand def Hollow is a more popular one. Yeah, and def de Sand Hollow is definitely popular, not only for like boating and water activities, but also for a lot of like ATVing, motorcycles. You can tell that we don't do it. We don't know the lingo. <laughs> I know, people are always looking at us. Yeah, they're here. like, what are you talking about? No, but it is super, super popular. Every time you go out there, you see all these people out there uh, doing stuff in the dirt yes. <laughs> with their toys. And another thing about Hurricane is that when you go out and you see a lot of the new construction homes, so many of them have like RV garages, double RV garages. Because definitely if, if Utah is known for anything, it's known for outdoor living. And I feel like Hurricane really like epitomizes that to a T. Yeah. I mean, people who are living in Hurricane, they are living there because it is a great place for the outdoors. That is kind of a big thing for a lot of people that reach out. They want a third car garage because they want that garage space for their toys and they want RV parking, like you said, because a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people here have their RVs. So mm -hmm. just kind of be aware of that, that, you know, those are kind of in high demand, the three, bed, three car garages or the, yeah, the more than two car garages for sure. And then I will say, even though Sand Hollow is a little bit, uh, well, not it is much more popular than Quail Creek, 
For Sean and I personally, like we actually prefer Quail Creek just because it's easier to get parking. Um, it's definitely not as pretty, but like if you're just looking for a, a nice way to like cool off, I actually prefer Quail Creek. And, and we Quail don't Creek. get swimmers itch there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and there is no, so swimmers itch is caused by snails. Like it's not dangerous at, at all, but. More irritating. Yeah, it's irritating. And definitely uh, Sand Hollow has more reports. I don't think Quail Creek ever really gets reports because I guess the water is like a little bit too acidic for the snails. So yeah, that's another reason why we always prefer Quail Creek. But mostly to avoid the crowds. Yes, mostly to avoid the crowds. Okay, so obviously um, there are more cities for the purpose of just being somewhat, you know, like kind of moving along. There are a lot of other cities actually out here that, you know, we could kind of dive into, but we're gonna kind of move on. We're gonna go back west and we're gonna go to Santa Clara. Yes, so Santa Clara, so at the beginning of the video, we were talking about how downtown St. George offers uh, some really older, like historic homes. So Santa Clara is a, a place that also offers that vibe. Like if you uh, go along kind of like the main street of Santa, Santa Clara, Clara yeah, like old Highway 91, um, there's just some beautiful homes, uh, older homes, beautiful like old growth trees. Um, it definitely uh, has a very like historic vibe. Very, very beautiful. And these houses along Santa Clara River, they can be pretty, like kind of like estates. Like these are beautiful. Yes, there's some large, beautiful, they almost look like Disney princess homes. <laughs> like they are just so beautiful. So if you do reach out to us, one of the people that work, works on our team, her actual favorite place in all of St. George is Santa Clara, just because it is so beautiful. And it, you know, if you're not interested in an older home, there definitely is a lot of new construction going on out there as well. Yes. So now we're gonna go to Ivan's, which is, when we were talking about Stonecliff, we were talking about, you know, that's a very pricey, ritzy, popular community. So Ivan's also has, I would say like two of the more well-known is like Cayenta and Entrada. And Entrada itself, it's not just in Ivan's, it's in Santa Clara and the city of St. George yeah, as well. Kind of, yeah, it kind of straddles this little area right here. Yeah. So, but, I, but you know, Ivan's, kind of people, when people think about Ivan's, they think about Entrada and they think about Cayenta which are two very popular housing communities. And they offer a kind of different takes on what people might be looking for. So for instance, Cayenta, more established, built, you know, like, you know, in the 90s or whatever that may, might be, even up to today, of course, but uh, they kind of started a little bit while, a little while ago. Incre like some of these homes have the most incredible views, mm -hmm. just unbelievable views, right? And also they're, it's not gated. Mm -hmm. And also they have this, you know, the, the center of the art, you know, like this, the, the village, you know, the Cayenta village is super cute. I love it. They have everything set up for just making it um, like kind of blend in with nature. So basically you don't actually realize there's as many homes as there are. There are. Mm -hmm. They have very strict rules on how you develop the property, even how you park your car. So that way, you're just kind of, again, very much blending in with the surroundings. And uh, even how they have the lights, like it's a great place for like like for astronomy. Like amateur astronomers would, would love Cayenta for that pur purpose there. Mm -hmm. And then Entrada is newer, it's gated, it's again, like one of those more ritzy communities and that kind of thing. And you know, again, people love them some Entrada for sure. Yeah, and if you're wondering, again, you know, you think, oh, Cayenta, it might be far out of the way, and definitely is. But still, like if you're trying to get to downtown St. George from Cayenta, it's probably like 20 to 25 minutes. And I think we've timed it like from the hospital in St. George is about 25 minutes. So even though you think you're really, really far away, you really actually aren't. And if you are, you know, wanting to be that much closer uh, to Sunny Sitter, Entrada might be more for you just because it is like a little bit closer compared to uh, Cayenta. Yeah, and one thing we'll see another difference between the two, between Cayenta and Entrada, is that Entrada has a beautiful golf course. Cayenta does not. That's not what Cayenta is kind of all about. Yeah. And in fact, uh, Entrada actually did a multi-million dollar, re you know, like redid their golf course. And so it's absolutely beautiful just kind of has all the latest and greatest you know amenities and that kind of thing so a lot of people love them some entrada and this is actually a really great aspect of st george is that it has an incredible hospital here mm -hmm. so yeah just speaking to the hospital um it's a you know big magnificent structure and uh, i know it's very it's ranked very high depending on you know what lists you're looking at uh, I know like US News and World Report ranks it like the number two hospital in all of Utah you know people find that surprising because obviously Salt Lake City is a huge city compared to St. George and the fact that we have like the second most highly ranked hospital 
that's really, really something that people really like about living in this area. Yeah, and it's amazing. You drive by it and you're going, this, this house still seems out of place because it remembers Washington County is about 200,000 people. Mm -hmm. This hospital feels like it's just, it should be in a, a you know, much bigger metropolitan area. It just seems out of place, which is fantastic for the people that live here. Yeah. And again, it's, and the beauty is beyond skin deep here because actually the quality of care here is pretty fantastic as well. Yeah, and you see a lot of people come from Nevada to come to this hospital uh, because it's just such like a, a great facility. So if, you know, hopefully you don't have to go there, but if you it's do- nice to have yeah, you'll see a lot of cars with like Nevada license plates because people drive up to see certain doctors here. And what we love about it too is that it is like, it's so close to everything, right? It's mm -hmm. it's right next to, it's right along River Road where we talked about before, that main shopping corridor. So it's right along River Road. It's like like seven minutes from city center. So it's just, it's perfectly placed to get and handle, you know, what, what whatever services not, might be necessary. So if any of these areas are speaking to you and you want to start, you know, that home search, whether, you know, you're coming here to, you know, you want to retire here, maybe you're moving your family here, maybe you're buying a second home here, second homes are really, really popular here, yes. reach out to us because uh, Sean and I and our team, we can help you find that perfect home for you.